Welcome to Yorkshire and to a very rocky and rather chilly hillside. Rocky and hills, it can only mean one thing, trials riding. But trials riding with a slight twist to it because this isn't a competition as you would normally expect. It's a school, yes, a trial school. You can learn how to do it. And when I tell you that the number one instructor today is none other than Dougie Lampkin, six times British champion, four times world outdoor and four times world indoor champion, then you can bet that the standard of education is going to be pretty high. So let's find out a little bit more and ask the main man himself, Dougie Lampkin. Let me get this right, Dougie. Six times British champion, mm -hmm. four times world indoor, yeah. four times world outdoor. Yeah. There's nothing left, is there? Uh, not been, really. Been there. A few more of each will be <laughs> Been right. there, done the lot, and now you're teaching people to, to do it. So tell me about the trial school. Yeah, trial schools really, it started last year. We had a lot of interesting people asking if we did whole trial schools, and we tried it out, and it, it sold out. and. Ever since then, people have been asking when the next one's going to be, so uh, obviously we've got a three-day one this time. Um, between 20 and 25 riders maximum we, yeah. we allow each day. It's sold out after a couple of weeks again, so it's good. I can imagine. There's not many schools you can go to for anything and get tuition by the world champion, is there? So what's the... What do people need to be able to do to come here? Have you got complete novices? We've got complete novices. We've got one lad who's only had a bike a month uh, today, and he's struggling a little bit, but he's still enjoying himself. Yeah. We've got... Various age groups, I think the oldest we had last year was 54 years old and the youngest was seven, so uh, we've got everybody here. Well, there's but, uh, some young lads today, what's the youngest today? Yeah, there's a young lad called Ross on a little T-80 and uh, he's having a whirl of a day and he's, he's beating most of the adults, so uh, he is, yeah. a few people are... Uh, so what do you do first of all, you're going to split the, you've got to assess people's ability haven't you? Yeah, we've got three, three tutors uh, today and we split it into two groups, let them have a little ride about and split it off into two groups as best we can. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we just get them basically riding what they're happy with but also a little bit challenging and uh, hopefully by the end of the day they'll have learnt something and had a good day and, and we enjoy doing it, we don't have chance to do it all the time so it's not as, as if we're doing it. Uh, it's week been nice and, week and relaxing out. for you this. Yeah, it's, 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 like, it's like a day off really. I'm laid back, I've seen yeah. you going through some of the sections earlier on just trying the sections out. It's yeah. Just, well, you could have done it still. Yeah, there. obviously we had a British Championship here yesterday and I rode very well. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it, it's nice that we can do something different today and like obviously there's a few kids about and they're all enjoying it's nice to see them enjoying, right. enjoying riding the bikes as much as I do and you never know there could be a star in the making. There could indeed be a star in the making. There was advice and encouragement coming from all directions. Some of it from this man, Dougie's dad, Martin Lampkin, himself an ex-world champion. Get finger up clutch when you get it going here. As soon as you go into trouble, you nick clutch. And then keeping up the family tradition is Dougie's cousin, James Lampkin, himself a British champion in his class. And as you can see, this kind of sport requires a large amount of physical fitness as well as ability on the machine. Also on hand to help with the organisation and give advice was another ex-rider and ex-minder to people such as Steve Colley, one Jake Miller. Down there, you've got to make sure you commit yourself and get left hand side this rock, all right? Otherwise, you're going to start struggling. You never really know who you'll bump into on a day like this, but you can be sure that whoever it is will be friendly, encouraging, and offer lots of good advice, even if it's an ex-British sidecar trials champion, like my friend Wayne Kershaw. Now this is Jude, the only young lady on the course today. I have to say, Jude, doing better than a lot of the blokes as well. Oh, I don't know about that. You were, hey, believe me, you know. are. 
but you work. I know you work at a shop that import these gas gas. I do, yeah. So, so we're pretty John familiar Sheard. with, yeah. with trail. You did yeah. a fair bit before. Um, I did about three years before I worked for John. Right. And I've worked for John for two years now, so I've been riding five years. Well, it shows, I must say. What are you learning today here? Oh, I'm learning lots. Oh, yeah. uh, tight turns. Yeah. They've set out a good few tricky sections, one further over there. Um, and it's all loose here, yeah. which is not good. It's like riding on marbles. Right, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, but no, I feel like I'm learning. Good. I feel like I'm learning something, yeah. Good stuff. Keep showing the blokes up. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> This is Carl. Carl, how much of this have you done before? Uh, I've been around for about two and a half, three years now. Right. So, and what's the what's the most important thing you've learned up to now today? Keep my feet up. <laughs> That's the whole <laughs> idea of the trails, isn't it? Eh? I, I just found that out today. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I, wonder, I, wonder, I wonder where I've been going wrong. I wonder why you've not won yeah. anything. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, what is it? Is it balance, throttle control, what? Or? Everything. Everything. Balance, throttle control. Yeah. Looking where you're going. Obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yo, know, he's reading the section as much as riding it. Right. Uh, you know, this is what these guys are good at. They tell That's you, right. tell you what to look out for, where to put your wheels, yeah. and everything. So, yes, yeah, good and enjoying it. Good. So. Excellent. Yeah. Well, this is Montessa Malcolm here. How are you going on, Malcolm? Uh, I'm doing all right, better than I expected. Oh, yeah? I thought I'd be a bit of a fish out of water, but they're uh, very going... understanding. Well, they are, I mean, and they cater for all, all abilities. That's Experts right. are complete novice, don't they? That's right. So how much of it have you done before? Um, I've done... This is about as good as I can do. Right. Well, you're I'm not doing, doing bad, you're learning lots. That's right. Yeah. Uh, showing me how to pick a better line. That's the important thing, I think, isn't it? It just is. Knowing which way to go. The way they're telling me to go isn't the way I'd have picked. <laughs> no, and well, it is easier. Yeah, there's sometimes I've noticed that sometimes where they're saying, I've thought, no, no. surely that's difficult. That's but right. It's, it's knowing what they're the telling me to put a front wheel over a rock where normally I'd have gone outside of it, and yeah. uh, it is making my line for the next bit a lot easier. Good stuff. Are you working up a bit of a sweat now? I am working up a sweat. So under, you must be doing it under right. Under pressure. <laughs> I think this is microphone. <laughs> 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 you are you know you can come in and have a go ross how old are you 11 11 you're doing fantastic i'm very very impressed and the, well, tell me what your bike is first of all yamaha ty80 ty80 it's a bit hard with little wheels isn't it in some of yeah. these sections sometimes you get stuck yeah that's it you're just yeah. a bit a bit short on power aren't you yeah you've done a fair bit of motorcycling though haven't you ross yeah i've been doing a year and a half going up for two have you yeah all trials riding two, yeah. all trials is it you do yeah so what's your ambition then a bit more champ. <laughs> to be like Dougie, yeah. eh? Well, you've got the best teacher in the world here today, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're doing great, and yeah. you're, you're showing some of these older fellas up anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. I'll well, keep it up. Good luck for the future. Yeah, thank you. It wasn't just advice on riding that was on hand. After lunch, the pupils were given a short talk on some basic bike maintenance and some competition preparation from James and Martin. First of all, check your wheels. Nice, make sure your spokes are nice and tight. Don't want any of them snapping out while you're riding around the trails. I'll see your wheel cover shot. I think it's very important for you lads to decide which championship you're going to ride in and which sections you're going to use and, and aim for one target and try and, you know, get in with a group of lads that are a little bit better than you or you know you're about equal and, and so you're pushing each other a little bit to try and uh, raise your standard a little bit at every trial. So it's fully booked then Doug, every day, how much does it cost this? Per rider £75 each day, uh, the riders have a maximum of two days just so basically we can get everybody and we had 58 on the reserve lift to it so uh, 
there wasn't many uh, extras that we could take on it, which it was a shame really, but it's just finding dates where, yeah. where I'm available to do them. Yeah, because you're all over the world, aren't you? Yeah. They're all on their own bikes? Yeah, they're all on their own bikes, all on their own equipment. Yeah. Um, we've got riders who've been riding basically no time at all. Want to be superstars, as you can see, they're all wanting to get back out already. I, I know they are. So is the idea then? In, I think most of these guys, if they're all their own bikes, then then they're trials guys anyway, or yeah. people with an yeah. interest in trials. Is the idea maybe to develop this another stage and get road riders here and say? Yeah, I mean that's another thing because we, we do have the availability of, of the importance of getting bikes, and that that's it's a good idea to uh, try and get the road lads here. Yeah. And just let them have a couple of days riding or a couple of hours riding about. And uh, just see if they enjoy it, and it could be like a winter sport for them. They can't ride their bikes exactly, uh, yeah. during the winter, so uh, yeah, good idea. Well, uh, they're all keen to get cracking. And, uh, Your presence is required on the rocks yeah, again. Well, I think so. Yeah, we'll have to get back. I'll leave you to it. Good luck, well done. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> it's impressive stuff, this, isn't it? Very, very impressive. That. Might not look very much, but that is not easy, believe me. That is very, very difficult what these guys are doing. And I've seen the massive improvement in most of them today. But then again, I would do, wouldn't I? Because they've got the best possible tuition you could ever hope for. The world champion, nonetheless. But if ever you get the chance to go off-roading, do it. If you're a road rider, go off-roading. You will learn a lot about machine control, balance, throttle control, all the things. You can use all that on the tarmac. It will make you a much better rider.